In this video, I'm going to go through the process of creating a profile line diagram and also some cross sections. A surface model displayed. To generate what's called a quick profile, that function is located on the drafting ribbon and it's over here, quick profile. Dialog will open. You can pick some reference line work to show in the profile diagram if any are available using the box at the top here. Otherwise it's a case of picking the surface or surfaces to use to populate the profile table. There's two surfaces in this project so I'm actually going to pick both. A reference line is required along which to generate the profile across the surface model or models. That can be done by clicking using the boxes here to set a new line or the option is here to select an existing line. And in this case I'll just click across the model to set a new line position. Got various options here for font labels depending on what's set up in your project. The Profile will require a reference name for the project database, so I'll just enter one here, and an output layer to place the to place the output on. Pick a location on the plan view somewhere to draw the profile, and from the settings, pick quick profile. Now this is assuming that you're using a sheet supplied by Corec. Essentially the profile definition is stored in a sheet template and that's what's being referenced by the settings option here. So it's always easier really to start with an existing template that someone else has created and then adjust it to your own needs. So both the Sheet template sets that I'll be using today. If you want a copy of those, please get in touch with us at support at corrupgroup.com and we can provide them to you. If I hit OK. If I hit OK, then a sheet will be generated, profile will be generated. And we can see it here. So everything on this is set in the sheet settings, what labels to apply. Let's turn off the background lines there to make it a bit clearer to see. So the label contents for the profile table and the scale etc will be stored in those settings. That's using the quick profile function to generate a profile such as the one shown. Of course if that's needed to be exported to CAD, simply a case of selecting it and using the appropriate CAD export option such as DWG exporter. To build a profile, optionally with cross sections onto sheets, then a slightly different approach is required. For this, an, an alignment is needed and also a corridor. So before going into that, if I look in Project Explorer on the left here, I've got an entry for planned sets. So this one here is the quick profile plan set, the sheets on that were used to generate the profile and the profile table here. What I'll be using next is this template set here with various sized uh, sheets for profiles, cross sections and general drawings contained within it. So as mentioned, this is something that you plan to use. It's a good idea to take a sheet like this one or a sheet set like this one and customize it to your own requirements. 
So I mentioned that a corridor is needed. Well, a corridor is built from an alignment. Uh, it's quick and easy to make an alignment. So if I can just go to corridors ribbon, create alignment, give it a name. Can of course pick an existing line in the project to use as that reference alignment, but otherwise the alignment editor can be used to draw a new alignment. So I'll just go with create alignment and then a starting position. So we've got a chainage and easting and northing box. Just click into the easting box, select a position. I've got various snaps on so you can see it's snapping to third season model set the type to line again I'm going to click into the azimuth box snap on to the required locations for the horizontal reference line I'm going to make a corridor which is going to use that alignment. The alignment is called AL2. If only a profile or a cross section is created which references a single model, then just pick that surface model as original ground and that will be fine. If you wish to reference two models or three or more models even in the profiles or the cross sections then select the additional models in the project here. If you do this there is one extra step that's required which I'll show now which is to add a surface instruction to the model. So I'll just set the start change as zero, put in a template name template editor opens. So this is the additional step that's required if more than one model is being used. We need to go to uh, instruction type and surface and pick the additional model that's going to be referenced and add. I can now close the corridor editing tool. So we've got multiple models open now in the plan view. I can use the view filter manager to turn off some of these in the display if I want to. Go back to Project Explorer, back to the list of sheets. Start with the profile one. Needs to be referenced to your corridor you've just created and then typically it's a case of using edit just to fine-tune the appearance of the sections before they're created or in this case a profile based on existing settings this is how the profile and the profile table are going to appear at the base of the screen are all the options for the creation of the profile and its position on the sheet as well as its content. The reason all this information for the profile table is populated automatically is going to be based on the name of the surface models that I've used and the settings here in the sheet editor. So for the row labels here, for elevation OGL, it is looking for a surface called CP OGL. So it's been created automatically because that is the name of my surface. But if the surface was called something different, it's the case of going into here, removing the previous entry, picking elevation, 
selecting the surface model required, tap add and OK and that will then update the table. So often it's a case of coming into here and just tweaking some of the settings to reflect the names of the surface models that have been used. There'll be a list of the surface models here under surfaces. You only need to have ticked on to draw those that are of interest. The plan view preview or snippet underneath here is optional, as is all the contents actually on the sheet. So this would be the plan. The content of the plan view there will be given by a view filter. And whether it appears or not can be determined here and where it appears as well. I'm not going to go through all of the settings. As mentioned, it's a good idea to obtain an existing sheet set and then just make adjustments to these as required. And we can provide help and assistance with that. OK, when the editor, you've used the editor to set the, the various options that you, you wish for your your table, your profile. You can kind of close that view, go back to your profile sheet, right click and this time select build sheets. That's going to create a new entry in the project and a right click and opening the sheet view will display that profile. Of course it's going to look exactly the same as it was set up in the editor. But from here then it's available to select and can be exported as required or indeed printed from TBC. It's a very similar process for the cross sections. Here's the cross section sheet. Again, it needs to be referenced to the corridor that's got the alignment in it and any additional surfaces referenced. I'll close this sheet view. Same methodology, right click and edit. Preview of the sections will appear as based on the current settings for the sheet. I've configured this sheet to show cross-section volume labels, and volumes of cut fill volume between two adjacent chainage sections and the, the drop-down spacing interval for the sheet table and uh, the position of the labels and the interval of the sections. So as per the profile, all of those options are available to manipulate from within the editor. So we can drill down and see, see what labels are available, what's been set up, what hasn't what surfaces are being referenced and the contents of the cross-section table. Very similar to the profile workflow. So again when the preview is looking as you require then the editor can be closed. Time to build the sheet so it's a right click build sheets there's actually two entries now because the number of sections has rolled over onto a second sheet. Can take a look at the first sheet. And those are the sections created from the first sheet. And it's possible to open a, a, a second sheet view here, but also at the bottom of any sheet view there's the option to switch to view the contents of another sheet which you can do here 
to view the remaining sections. So there's the process of using two methods really of creating profile. So we've got the quick profile option that's available from the drafting ribbon here, quick profile. And then we've got the more detailed and controlled and customizable method, which is using an alignment and a corridor to reference a surface or surfaces, and then using sheets to fine tune the content of the profile or the cross sections before they're generated onto sheets ready to print or to export to CAD.